I'm going to share with you the techniques I use to draw 2D elevations in AutoCAD and here are my AutoCAD tips. Hi, I'm the Lazy Architecto. Like each and every Tuesday, welcome to a new video on AutoCAD tutorials that save time. Follow the next AutoCAD tips for the fastest way to draw 2D elevation. AutoCAD tips 1. Use a template elevation. A template is simply a previous drawing that contains all of your settings, a drawing reference, a title block and so on. The first secret for the fastest way to draw elevation is to never start from scratch. So whenever you need to start a new architectural project, always save us to avoid modifying your original template. AutoCAD tips 2. Use a floor plan and an image. If you have a floor plan available, go ahead and insert it in your architectural project. The secret here is to insert it as an external reference, so if later on you modify your floor plan, it will update automatically in this elevation drawing. To do this, type attach and follow these steps. Now, use xclip command to focus on part you need to draw elevation. Mm -hmm. Finally, use layer freeze command to freeze layers you won't need on your elevation. Also, if you have an image, go ahead and insert it in your 2D drawing. I'll attach this image I got from Google Earth. AutoCAD Tips 3. Reuse past drawings. Another key point for the fastest way to draw elevations in AutoCAD is to use old drawings. Again, never start from zero. So go ahead and select your old 2D elevation. Press Shift and deselect what you'll need for your new elevation. Finally, move it to the side. AutoCAD Tips 4. Add vertical elements. This include adding windows, doors, walls and others. Another key point for the fastest way to draw elevation in AutoCAD is to work systematically. By this I mean follow a system. So go ahead and type TP or Control 3 to open AutoCAD tool palette and insert window block. We just created it last week. Place elevation windows as you need.
Now insert and place door block. Finally, I'll move it straight down. Add vertical lines to represent interior walls. For this, you can use AutoCAD X-Ray command. However, I don't like them because they are drawn infinitely and need too many clicks. Instead, I'll use Elevation Ray Custom command. They are smaller lines and placed with a single click. AutoCAD Tips 5 Add horizontal elements. It's time to focus on horizontal lines and for this you'll need AutoCAD Offset command. However, first Scale your elevation picture using a scale command and R to scale using reference. For this example, I'll use a door which is normally 7 feet to scale elevation picture and get some approximate heights. However, if you have exact height numbers for your building, go ahead and use those. Now you can add some dimensions. Time to use offset command. Use ground line for this and start getting your elevation heights. Here you can draw any extra objects like this architectural element. I'll place it here since it's aligned with this column based on elevation picture.
Finally, I'll move it straight down. Let me move these elevation tags more to the left. Now you can clean your elevation drawing a little bit using trim command. However, don't just use trim without selecting cutting edge. If you do so, you'll end having line pieces everywhere. Instead, use trim, select edge lines and start trimming. Finally, you can clean your elevation a little more using AutoCAD Extend command. AutoCAD Tips 6. Add closer elements. This includes adding exterior columns or any other element that is nearer to you. So I'll use a dynamic elevation block column and place them as follow. Now you can move them straight down. Let me add this elevation detail using join and offset commands.
Finally, I'll draw this sign element using polyline and mirror commands. Another tip for the fastest way to draw elevation in AutoCAD is to occasionally do a plot preview. This way you'll see what your drawing will look on paper before you press print. This will save you a lot of time and paper. AutoCAD tips 7. Adjust elevation tags. This includes arranging dimensions and elevation heights. For this, you will use a stretch and a stretch from commands.
Let me clean my elevation a bit using AutoCAD trim command. A tip here is that you can change quickly from trim and extend command by pressing shift key while trimming. Let me do a print preview to check how my elevation is looking. AutoCAD Tips 8 Add hatches and line weights to your front elevation. These include placing objects under correct layers and colors to add depth to your elevation drawing. For this, you'll use AutoCAD Match Properties command. The key point here is to work systematically and leave hatches and layers always till the end, so you don't have to modify them twice if you need to fix your elevation drawing. A quick explanation of AutoCAD colors and line weights is that this will depend on your CTV file or plot style you're using. In my case, my AutoCAD CTV file is set for color pink to print light, color gray to print medium, and blue to print dark. Let me adjust the interior dimensions for my 2D front elevation. AutoCAD Tips 9 Set up title block and paper space. Since you're using a template, you can eliminate this step. So go ahead and simply create your elevation PDF. Remember, working systematically and using a reference to never start from scratch can be the difference between going home early or not. What are your AutoCAD tips for the fastest way to draw elevation? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share with your friends and click subscribe for less clicks and more done.